Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 30 of Let's Play Okami HD. Alright, before we go to Catcall Tower, and I think that's gonna be the next thing we do, rather than deal with that hole that's got that purple haze on one of the islands over there, why don't we actually just make some progress in the game? I think that would be the best thing to do right now. Just hold off on, like, other side stuff, because we've done a lot of it already. In fact, we did enough side content to be able to get, like, upgrades to some of the moves we already have. Like, we're able to draw two cherry bombs at once. We have a stronger slash. I think it's time for us to keep on going. So, Catcall Tower should be over this way, right? Yep, over there. Alright, so let's get to it, shall we? I don't know if you just get to go straight to the tower, or do you have to go through the woods and then you get to the tower? Yeah, you can still hear that uh, meowing all the way up there. Where's that meowing coming from? Hmm. I think it's coming from that tower. It's kind of creepy, but let's go check it out. Well, that's what we are going to do until you stopped us. Just gonna throw that out there. We could have made it sooner. Oh, there's some cats over here. Would you like some fish? Of course you do. <laughs> Alright, looks like there's a save point over there. I suppose we could use it. It's just a regular origin mirror, though, so you can't really just use your X. Which is fine, I guess. I mean, we already got, like, two X mirrors over in this spot anyway. This does not look like a safe place to climb. Hmm. Sounds like an annoying meowing's coming from the top of this tower. Hey! Look at those paw prints on the wall! Isn't that the mark of Cabwalk? It's one of the 13 celestial brush techniques. Wait! Maybe that means... Well... Oh. <laughs> we take one step, another cutscene. Whoa! Look at that weird... Oh, God. It combines to make three sickles. Okay, we can see that it's fire-based. Nice! Got my counter ready in time. Okay, wind... Fire base, I'll use wind to put out the flames. Nice! That upgraded power slash really paid dividends. <laughs> so it's just another one of those wheels. Alright, let's see what you're all about. Poltergeist! A group of three sickle-wielding weasels that attack in a circle. These demons are known to cause hallucinations among their victims. If you notice a sudden unexplained burning or freezing sensation, you are the victim of a poltergeist. Each of the three possesses fire, ice, or thunder powers, so each must be defeated in turn. Oh. So there's not always going to be the same element of poltergeist. The Mark of Kabegami... That must be those paw prints. You may notice the symbols called the Mark of Kabagami in your travels. Remnants of Kabagami's power lie within these arcane markings. Those blessed with divine power may walk up walls bearing the mark. Simply jump with B when near such a wall. Press B again to attach yourself to the wall. You can scale the wall to any height provided the mark is there. I don't remember us seeing that, but I have seen... Oh, there's a cat over here. I have seen some towers, or at least walls in general, that had those cat statues. So I wonder if that has something to do with that. Also, let's go digging up some clovers. Get some of that extra praise. 
be on the lookout for any cats we see. So I bet you there's more of them around this area as well. Some of them was just running in place. What the frick? Uh, but there's like so few of them like bunched together. Therefore, the amount of praise you get for each feeding time is pretty small. As one would expect. Hope I have enough bags of fish. Like, am I actually feeding them fish, or am I just feeding them pellets that smell like fish? Like, maybe I'm not actually feeding them fish. Otherwise, I would need bigger bags. Okay, it works like this, see? So you just keep jumping. I thought you would just run in place or whatever. Still use your double jump, by the way. Whoa, I almost missed everything. That would have sucked ass. Okay, looks like uh, each wall you can climb has a little bit of a yellow glow to it. Hey, what's gotten into you, Amy? You trying to get to the top of the tower or something? You're one enthusiastic furball. Well, yeah, wouldn't you want to try? How did you get up here? Like, did you really jump up this wall too, kitty? Like, what the hell? Okay, at least every red bar that you see is considered a checkpoint. So you won't fall all the way to the very, very bottom. So that's very helpful. So we'll just keep climbing as high as we can. Oh, gotta turn this way. Can you imagine, like, actually just falling all the way down? Like, you would just, like, burst into, like, juice. It would be nuts. And bolts. I guess there's only, like, one platform per side. At least that's what I'm seeing. This would be a little bit faster if you can actually just walk up instead of just constantly have to stick to the wall. Almost like you're Spider-Man or whatever. I don't know, is that meowing getting... As I was about to say, is that meowing getting any louder? It doesn't feel louder to me. And Whoa, there's a chest over here. Traveler's Charm. Oh, alright. And another cat to feed. What's my percentage at for cats? It's gotta be like in the high 60s by now, right? Unless there's really a ton of cats that I still need to look for. 68%! Wow! There's still a lot of cats to go. Then again, it's not like we're near the end of the game anyway, I don't think. Is this the top of the tower? It feels like there's still more to climb up. But this is not really a checkpoint. Because I can still fall through. Is there anything else around here other than the chest? No, there is not. This one just have to keep climbing up. Like, this part is not even difficult at all. It's not like there's any obstacles that can knock you off. It all comes down to, like, actually seeing the haze on the wall. 
Oh, another halo. Another chest. And another lacquerware set. This platform actually does not have a cat. Is that correct? No, nope, there's no cat. I guess I just keep going. Alright, how high up does this go? I mean, we might get to the uh, edge of the atmosphere at this rate. Could you imagine if there's like an oxygen meter for this? No, what? I was hitting B. Why did it not stick? Maybe I wasn't like holding forward enough. That, that might be why. Whoa, that was close. I guess when you're trying to do a side double jump, it becomes a little bit trickier. Okay, this one actually doesn't have... Oh my god, that keeps frightening me. It's a chest, but this one actually does not have a halo. So you could fall off this. This is going to get a little bit tougher, I can tell. You got to do some lateral movement. Still not finding any other platforms on the way. Oh, Halo time. And another treasure chest for me. Cat statue. Or I like to call it a cat you. <laughs> okay, I guess nobody calls it a cat you. Sounds like a sneeze. Oh, Meowing's getting closer. Also, I can actually see the top of the tower. There, we made it. Oh, and there's a mermaid spring over here. Alright, that's good for when we need to go back down. Why can't I just jump off? Oh, right, the clouds. That might stop me from doing that. Alright, so let's look around. Because we may only be here once. Huh? Well, I don't know who put the incense burner in the chest, but okay. Sometimes you gotta wonder what treasures you get and wonder how they even got put in the box in the first place. And who put them there? There's always these questions you gotta wonder. Like when you're playing like Final Fantasy and you go through like a, an underground cave that apparently only monsters can survive in. But there are potions in a box. It's like, how do they get put in there is what I like to know. Well, this cat here must be special. Emmy, look! There's a kitty cat over there. I wonder what it's doing all alone up here. It couldn't have climbed all the way up by itself, could it? Surely there could be anything to eat all the way up here. Yeah, that's the other thing. Like, they gotta be starving. I don't even know if any birds fly up here. Oh, that's a special cat to feed. It stopped meowing! Hmm? A constellation? Here? Oh, I might miss him. Oh, there was another one. Now right, let's get that corner, and this one, and that one, and that one. Oh, it was just a house. Or rather, an aquarium. Oh no. Oh, 
Oh god. You must think he's on a mouse. What the hell is that all about? <laughs> ah, I'm a Tarasu. The origin of all that is good and mother to us all. The swirling whirlpool of evil below has driven me to this height. From this perch, I observe the world below and its descent. If my power is needed once again, I, Kabegami, God of Walls, shall gladly offer a bridge of hope to the realm below. Alright, we got ourselves another uh, Celestial Brush ability. Hey! I'm not your personal toy to be played with like that! Wait a sec. That must have been Kabigami, one of the 13 gods. You know, the one with the catwalk brush technique. And this kitty right here is a messenger of the gods. And here I thought it was just some stray cat. Well, I still needed to eat, okay? Whoa! Check it out! The statue's starting to glow! Oh, I get it! The Kamigami statue is telling you to use the catwalk power! Emmy, put your brush on the statue and draw a line up the wall. That'll let you transfer the god's catwalk power into the wall. Which will allow us to get up here. It almost worked! Still, a rather sad attempt, I must say. Catwalk is a technique for climbing walls, right? Well then, don't be so stingy with your lines, okay? Alright, I'll fine, I'll draw a better one. Yes! 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 We look at that, Amy! The mark of Kabigami has appeared on the path you drew from the Kabigami statue! Now you can climb walls anytime you want! Simply by summoning the mark of Kabigami, just like that! Speaking of which, remember those other Kabigami statues we saw? We should try your new brush technique on them, too! Uh, sure. Oh, the mark's gone. There we go, now we're on the top of this tower. Whoa! That's one big kitty statue! This must be the top of the tower! Doesn't that wind feel great? Perf <laughs> okay, we can't really climb on the statue, but there is a treasure chest right here. Hey, a sun fragment! And now we have another health upgrade. Well, that was worth it, if I say so myself. Great, so now we gotta go all the way back down. Good thing there's a mermaid spring. We'll have to go use that then. Otherwise, uh, I don't know if we can't go down. Wait, can we? What if I jumped? Okay, you can't jump. Gave us a mermaid coin for a reason, obviously. You know, let's just make it easier for ourselves. Oh, wait. Why'd I do that? I'm supposed to toss the coin in. Duh. Catcall Tower... Ryushima Coast. Okay, that's where we go. So I know there was one of those towers over there. Like, most definitely. Okay, so I'm all the way up here. Alright, well, fair enough. Where I kind of need to go is, like, to the east, though. So let's just get that out of the way while we can. Also, before we go any farther, I was doing some looking around. There was a clover over here that I missed. There we go. Good stuff. Oh, might need to a uh, lily across. 
Sadly, I can't jump that high to get back on the pier. Oh well, just have to do it the long way. I guess. Alright, I'm a coming, Mr. Spout. Oh, 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 how am I kicking up like that? My front legs are the ones there. That is weird. <laughs> Alright, we'll just like do some looking around on Ryoshima Coast. Probably go as far as that statue. And I know there was some in Shinshu Field as well. There might have been one in Taka Pass. I think, yeah, there definitely was. I got a forest, I had one too. So there's like a lot of things we can do with just with this one ability. Like that's crazy. Alright, so let's keep on going. Also, let me just head back over here. And the reason why I'm looking to do that... Oh, nighttime. I think there was a cat around here that I missed. Like, we don't have to go in the temple. It was actually, like, uh, on the deck? I forget what side of the temple, though. Seems how uh, we had cats to feed, anyway. <laughs> like, I know you get, like, a percentage for, like, how many cats you fed. I just wish it would give you, like, a percentage of how many you fed in the area you're in. You know? So, like, you're looking for this many cats. Well, you don't have to look for any in this location, because you got them all in there. In that one. Like, it would have been nicer to have, like, a better idea on your progress, rather than just, like, overall. Okay, there's the statue. I know there was one in North Ryoshima Coast as well. Like on the northern, northwest side. That's not high enough. Luckily I can just go ahead and do that even when I'm on the tower. Kutani Pottery. That's a rather good treasure. Well worth its weight in gold. I am very sure of that. Alright, so we got like an idea on like the kind of things we can get. Like I'm sure we can get like a lot of stuff including like clovers and whatever that we missed. Thanks to this. Come to think of it, there's hardly anything that's holding us back. Well, I'm sure we don't have all the essential abilities needed to get everything. Like, you know, a, f a stronger Power Slash, we still don't have that. Because we can only cut the iron, but we can't cut what looks like... Jewels? Or steel? Or maybe it's crystal? I don't know what it is. Either way, we just can't cut it. But I feel like this Let's Play is, in its own way, cutting it. Hint, hint. Barring, you know, the occasional technical issue once in a while. But we're gonna make it work somehow. Is this high enough? That's high enough. Perfect. Alright, it is nighttime and there's something to dig up. I'm gonna go dig it. Sucker! And a dog statue. Alright, cool. Good stuff. I was kinda hoping that would be fish, considering how much of it I used, but okay. There's someone up here. Whoa! Wow, what happened to the California Raisins? Hey, you shouldn't be smoking, that's bad for your health.
Whoa, just throwing like a bunch of spikes. Wait. Oh, I thought I could actually just burn it. Oh, now it's using lightning. I can't even penetrate that armor. So I guess you just have to hit it with melee. Well, that fight sucked. Wait, maybe that uh, sconce is there for a reason. Huh? Someone there? What the hell is that enemy anyway? It looked hideous. Blue Cyclops. There's curmudgeon br blue brute usually flies and smokes a pipe. If its pipe goes out, it becomes enraged and calls forth lightning. However, relighting the pipe will calm it down almost instantly. Okay, so if it still has the pipe lit, it actually doesn't hurt as much. Whereas if it, it goes out, then you have to deal with lightning. Hello, can I help you? This is Watcher's Cake. It's said that the gods once used this place to return to the heavens. At night, this place offered a great view of the starry sky. Even the Whirlpool Galaxy was visible from the cape's tip. Whirlpool Galaxy? It's a group of stars. They form the shape of a great spiral, like a heavenly whirlpool. But since the demon-shaped island appeared out at sea, there are more and more monsters about, and the skies have dulled. The magnificent starry view can no longer be seen. Aww. I'm here in the hope that I'll be able to make a wish. But shooting stars are rare now, not like before. If only a star would shoot across the night sky, then I can make a wish upon it. If you wish upon a star, it always comes true. Even the Whirlpool Galaxy might appear in the sky again. Why don't you stand next to me and help me look for shooting stars? There's one. There! A shooting star! How can I make my wish right now? Uh, I wish that the sky was as magnificent as it was in the past. And that the Whirlpool Galaxy was visible again. Ask and ye shall receive. <laughs> That's it! The Whirlpool Galaxy! My wish really did come true! Something tells me I'm going to have to gaze upon that myself. But first, let's do some looking around. Whoa. Sorry to wake you up, tigers, but you gotta eat. So, Devawa. Praise the mighty tigers. Could use another health upgrade, so let's get that now. That might be a good thing to use, like if you're low on health and you have enough for a health upgrade, just buy a health upgrade and you might get back to full. I wonder if that's how it works. Oh, Whirlpool Galaxy is gone. We gotta make it night again. Okay, it's still there. <laughs> this is a great place for stargazing. Watcher's Cape. When the Whirlpool Galaxy spins in the distant heavens, a Whirlpool shall open up below. Emmy, I have the feeling we'll be seeing that entrance real soon. Why do you don't go over this way? Wow! Check out that Whirlpool of stars! It's like a huge windmill in the night sky! They say the Whirlpool Galaxy is the key to the Dragon Palace. If so, and the Whirlpool entrance should be somewhere under it. Hmm. The sea looks pretty calm to me. And the Whirlpool galaxy isn't even swirling. What are we going to do to make the Whirlpool entrance appear? There might be a way. The Whirlpool picture kind of looks like a windmill or something. 
Anything has something to do with that whirlpool of stars? Didn't we just read something about whirlpools above and below? I think you're onto something. Maybe we're supposed to blow that starry pool whirlpool round and round. Try it again, Emmy. Keep using that wind power of yours. I wonder how many times I gotta do it, though. Just enough. Oh, it's spinning now. Look! The Whirlpool entrance to the Dragon Palace! The Whirlpool Galaxy is bringing it to the surface! Okay, Emmy, it's about time we got on down to that Dragon Palace! Let's go teach those Dragonians a lesson! They're gonna pay for not keeping that water dragon on a leash! Always resorting to anger. That is so you. <laughs> Alright, so I wonder if that Whirlpool stays there the whole time. Or can you only do it at night? By the way, we gotta head back to Orca. Oh! There's some cats over there we didn't feed. Alright, good stuff. Where the hell did Orca... Oh, right back here. To Urashima's place. Oh, hang on. Thought there was something else around here. Maybe I'm just seeing things. Oh well, let's just keep on going. There were cats. We already got the cats. So yeah, I think we'll just head on up. Pay Orca a visit. And then we can go to the Dragon Palace. Alrighty then, we finally uh, got a lot of work done. And we're able to create a whirlpool. I don't think it shows up as an ability though. Like I don't think we, we just have something called whirlpool. It's just as simple as using a gale storm. There. No more spiel. And there is a whirlpool. Just go over this way. Wonder what that uh Wonder what that eye over there is to the left. Oh you know what that is? I think that's the uh, cat statues that we can climb now. What's up with the music getting so grim? Well, this is so not like Wind Waker at all. <laughs> at least at that time you're supposed to go in the Whirlpool. Under the sea! <laughs> Finally, Emmy! We made it through that Whirlpool down to the bottom of the sea! This must be the Dragon Palace in the Kingdom of the Dragonians. Their leader, Otohime, controls the Water Dragon. We better not let our guard down. Good idea. Okay, this part of the waters feels safe. Hey, small holy bone. All right, before we go inside the palace, why don't we go take a look around on the outside? Oh, well, I guess you would find a pearl in something like this. A dragonfly bead. Oh, that's an X mirror! So we can warp and return here at any time. Halt, you white beast! Wow, that, that's pretty discriminatory. What business do you have in the Dragon Palace? You talking to us? The Dragonian Kingdom is no place for land dwellers. State your name. Who do you think you are talking to us like that? Besides, you're the ones who let that water dragon run amok. I'm Isun, wandering artist and protector of Queen Himiko. 
ruler of Saiyan City. Now hurry up and go fetch your leader Otohime for me. Chop chop! I have no time for lowly servants. Himiko? Queen Himiko from Saiyan City? Then that boy Meat Beast must be... Hey! What are you two babbling on about? You gonna get... Go get Otohime or not? This way, O oh Beast of White. Her Royal Highness will receive you in the throne room. Oh, really? That's it? That's pretty easy, I guess. Uh, we'll pay a visit to them later. But I'm pretty much running out of time for this video. So in the next part, we'll go inside the Dragon Palace and see Queen Otohime. See everyone, thanks for watching.